Hey friends, I wasn't sure about this one, but I decided to try it. It's that viral chicken cobbler that's all over the internet and it was amazing. I started with three frozen chicken breasts in the crock pot and I seasoned those with some garlic powder, some of this Weiler's chicken powder, and some onion powder. And you could definitely use a rotisserie chicken or really any leftover chicken you have, but because I'm working at home, I decided just to throw this in a, the crock pot while I worked. I cooked it on high for four hours. Once that was done, now you know if you watch any of my videos, I love this kitchen tool. I just shredded all that chicken up using this kitchen tool. It made it so easy. I didn't burn my fingers. I didn't have to take any chicken out or cut it up. I just pushed it down and twisted, and this does a great job at shredding any kind of chicken. Of course, I love it for hamburger too. You've seen me use it plenty of times on my videos. Now, the recipe calls for one stick of butter, but I really felt like we could do with just a half a stick. And I was right, it was perfect this way. So we're gonna melt a half a stick of butter in the microwave. And then we're gonna take all of this chicken and transfer it to our baking dish. Now I've already sprayed this with a little pan so nothing sticks, but I did use a slotted spoon because I don't wanna get all that extra juice in here. It's just not needed. So I used a slotted spoon and I put it all in this pan spread that all around and this was supposed to be about four cups mine might be have been a little bit more but it was just fine now we're going to drizzle all that melted butter over the top of this chicken again that was a half a cup of melted butter and then i took a bag of peas and carrots that were frozen and put those on top now you could use any of your favorite vegetables then the red lobster biscuits we take the box mix and we're going to add that to a bowl and we're going to add that seasoning packet as well. All of that's going to be mixed up together. Along with the seasoning packet, we're going to put in two cups of milk. That seems like a lot, but we really have to trust this process and it was really hard for me to put this much liquid in this recipe, but it really does work out. So don't try to cut these back because you really need them and trust me, it does work out. So, okay, this is just me. I couldn't stand these lumps, so I had to get my whisk and whisk this all together. Lumps are fine, you don't have to worry about that. It's all gonna cook into a really nice biscuit on top, so don't worry. We're gonna take that mixture and we're just going to um, pour that over our chicken and veggie mixture. Now again, you can use any kind of veggies on this, even a mixed vegetable I think would be delicious. Next, we're gonna combine one and a half cups of chicken broth. Now, this is just water because I'm gonna make my own chicken broth because I absolutely love this Weiler's powder. They make it in a cube as well, but the powder is so much easier to work with. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that to uh, one and a half cups of water and stir that around. And then we're gonna add a can of cream of chicken soup and we're gonna whisk that together as well so it's all nice and blended up. If you've never tried that Weiler's product, you really gotta look for it in the store. It's so good, they make a beef one too. I use it for the base of all of my soups. Um, it just has such a great flavor. Now here's where it gets kinda weird, but again, follow me, it will work. We're gonna pour this right over everything else, all of that biscuit mixture, all of it, just pour it over. And it seems like it's gonna be way too much liquid, but it actually does work out. So now we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees for 50 minutes. Some recipes you may see say 40 minutes or so, but I thought 50 was just the perfect amount of time. Now I'm gonna give you a sneak peek right here so you can see what it looks like at about half time. And you can see those biscuits are already starting to firm up. It's starting to look a little bit firmer. Now, after the 50 minutes, you will see this nice golden brown biscuit crust on top of this um, casserole or this what they call a chicken cobbler. You can see everything firmed up. If I shake it a little, it's not too juicy. It, it looks great. 
Now, you do need to let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes just really to, to cool down and firm up. But after that, we're gonna cut into this and you can see all of that liquid made this nice, juicy, like almost like a chicken pot pie filling in the center. This was so, so delicious, creamy, a little bit salty, those veggies, so good. Now, if you want to make this at home, in just a second, I'm going to put up the recipe, so get ready to screenshot it. I hope you try it. It's totally worth it. I 100% understand why this went viral. Everyone here loved it. So go ahead and try this one. Let me know how you like it down in the comments below. And if you like this video, like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.